They try to take it away from us, but they can never stop us. Welcome guys. Today I'll be showing you the new chain casting method. It was literally found maybe two hours after the update went live to try and patch it out. They can't stop us mages, we're just too powerful. With the new update 1.05, they removed chain casting and weapon animation cancels as they call it in the patch. However, there's still another way to do it. And while yes, the older method has been patched, the newer method goes as follows. Instead of casting it on the ground, you now have to jump and use either Carrion Slicer or Swift Glintstone Dart and then go into the desired spell that you want to go into and it will start the chain cast as normal. Now to answer some questions and get them out the way, can you chain cast multiple spells at a time? For example, can you chain cast Swift Glintstone Dart into Carrion Greatsword into Night Comet? The answer is no. Unfortunately, the way I see this patch is it's more of a nerf, if anything. It's not necessarily a patch since it can still be done, however, it's not what it used to be. Can you run and jump and still do the chain cast? Yes, you can. So you don't have to jump in one place and do it and feel like you just can't move. You can still do all your regular running and jumping, but just remember that you have to cast either a Karen Slicer or a Swift Glintstone Dart in the air and then go into your desired spell. Can this still work with incantations? You can still do it with incantations. All you have to do is use either Bestial Sling in the air or Catch Flame in the air and go to your desired incantation. Does this patch fix the animation bugs that the game had? Yes. For example, Theodorx's magma would come out instantly when you used to do the chain cast before, now it just does a second animation of it, albeit it's much faster, but it's not the same glitched out version it used to be, which honestly I feel like is pretty fair. This same animation bug patch applies to Shatter Earth as well, I know it used to also come out instantly, now it just does a second phase, again, I feel like this is a lot fairer of a chain casting method, where it won't just kill people outright, but you can still do it and it will still have a high effectiveness. But the last most important question. Does the Briars of Syntex still work? Yes, it does. Blood Brethren, we rejoice. They tried to they tried to nerf the only two thorn sorceries in the game, but they cannot stop the Briars movement. The Briars movement will keep going on. This will not stop. You cannot stop us. This is a force at this point. This is a movement. However, you cannot chain cast Briars of Punishment anymore because that was more of an animation bug than it really was a chain cast. So slight downside, but we still have the Briars of Syntex, and that's kind of all we needed. So I hope you guys enjoyed the new and improved chain casting method. Let me know you guys' experiences and how it works out for you in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. And while you're at it, you can check out my Blood Mage guide that I made recently. It's been very well received, so I feel like you might enjoy it if you watch it. So take care, peace, be good, love and light.